on Saturday afternoon. Takes a top five finish to even get a chance to go for that kind of money here. A reminder that Tim Tietrich drives the five, Gold Dust Mike, and Eric Ledford drives the six, Rough It Up. Track is fast, five minutes to post. Here are the starters for race nine. Number one is D.B. Brody, owned by Charles Lennon and Alan and Jacqueline Bowen of Mount Sterling, trained and driven by co-owner Alan Bowen. Number two, Randolph Duke, is owned by the Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, trained by Leo Grummel, Brent Holland in the bike. Number three, Sandy's Playboy, owned by Pat Lowry of Joppa, Illinois, and I. Carl Stables Incorporated of East Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, trained and driven by Dave Maxwell. Number four, Kenan's Billy, is owned by Ken Spurlock of Dyer, Indiana, trained by Mark Uricke, Dale Heitman will drive. Number five, Gold Dust Mike, is owned by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale, trained and driven, or trained by Joe Hot. He will ask Tim Tietrich to fill in in the race bike. Six is Rough It Up, Eric Ledford drives there for owner-trainer Tom Graham, Jr. of Salem. The seven extreme sport owned by HBH Standard Breads Incorporated of Warrenville, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Number eight, Fox Valley Chris, owned by Don Trilling of Northbrook and Howard Zimmerman of Wilmette, trained by Gary Skurlock, Sam Widger will drive. And number nine is Fox Valley Michael, owned by Dick Cooley's Tanamira Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Post time in only three minutes. of a mile from a start in this Governor's Cup elimination. Here they come. They're off in pacing. Gold Dust Mike goes out for the lead. Extreme Sport is there with him on the outside. Randolph Duke now kicks in down toward the rail along with D.B. Brody. Randolph Duke goes to the lead around the first turn. Gold Dust Mike is second on the outside of D.B. Brody, followed by Extreme Sport, who's toward the rail now in the fourth position. And they're followed by Fox Valley Chris in fifth. Sandy's Playboy goes sixth. Kennan's Billy is racing in the seventh spot. Fox Valley Michael is eighth past the quarter, and Rough It Up is ninth. 28 seconds for that first panel. Randolph Duke leads it by a length, and now there goes Fox Valley Chris. He's parked. He moves up into second around D.B. Brody. Gold Dust Mike settles over toward the rail in the fourth position, followed by Extreme Sport and then Sandy's Playboy as they approach the half-mile mark, and they are followed by Kennan's Billy, Fox Valley Michael, and Rough It Up and problems for Fox Valley Chris, who just made a break while racing in the second position. That leaves Randolph Duke on a one-length lead, the half in 57-1. and D.B. Brody is right behind him, then Gold Dust Mike, Extreme Sport to the outside from fourth, followed by Kennan's Billy, who's now in the outer flow of traffic, followed by Sandy's Playboy, who's back toward the rail, six lengths off the lead. Fox Valley Chris is now three wide after that break, and then Fox Valley Michael and Rough It Up. Randolph Duke opens up by two lengths at the three quarters. D.B. Brody is second. Extreme Sport is third on the outside. Three quarters and 125 and three. Randolph Duke by three lengths off the far turn. D.B. Brody second to length. Extreme Sport third. Then Gold Dust Mike followed by Kennan's Billy and Fox Valley Michael. Moving by the eighth pole, Randolph Duke leads D.B. Brody and Extreme Sport as they move by the 16th pole. It is Randolph Duke with a wall of horses behind him. Extreme Sport, D.B. Brody, Gold Dust Mike. As they come to the line, Randolph Duke well in front for the victory. Randolph Duke by five over Extreme Sport. It's a photo for show. It was either Gold Dust Mike or Kennan's Billy for the show spot in 153 and three. In the winner's circle for the ninth race, here's number two, Randolph Duke, Brent Holland with the winning drive. Owned by the Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, bred by R.E. Baldwin, Cole Muffler Colt, trained by Leo Grummel, 153-3, and three, a new lifetime record. Number seven, Extreme Sport, was second. In that photo for show, it was number five, Gold Dust Mike, who was third. Number four, Kennan's Billy, finished in fourth. Let's see if we can talk to Leo Grummel, who trains this colt right now. Some final thoughts he's exchanging with driver Brent Holland. Leo, I was reading in a magazine the other day where... When you and your partners bought Randolph Duke, it sounded like almost you were kind of surprised you were able to get the Colt for the kind of price you did. Yeah, I thought the Colt would be a lot higher that day. Uh, but like I said in interview uptown, he was a little small, and um, I think that's the reason I got him. If you don't mind my asking, what did you guys pay for him? 12500 
and already he's gone over the $20,000 mark this year, and that's just in a handful of starts. How about the Illinois State Fair? He was the beaten favorite in his elimination. Any thoughts on why he broke stride? Uh, the coat, like I said, he's, he's a little late. He's a May coat, soared up on us just a little bit, a little coat soreness. We had a little time. We took him home, done a lot of paddocking and rubbing, and I think we got him in good shape for here. Little TLC often will do the trick. Leo, you're in that $100,000 final for Saturday. Good luck. Thank you. I'll need it. That's Leo Grummel, ladies and gentlemen. He's the winning trainer in race nine. More in a moment. Here's the order of finish from the top. D.B. Brody, five. Randolph Duke, the